In the meantime, the French capital has also seen public anger spilling into the streets, with thousands converging in an anti-austerity rally. RT's Ilya Petrienko went to find out what's troubling the people there. A whole spectrum of left-wing political forces have occupied an entire street in downtown Paris. There are definitely thousands of people here, and more people appear to be joining in. Almost everyone around me voted for President Francois Hollande two years ago, desperate for an alternative to what they saw as destructive liberal policies of then-President Nicolas Sarkozy. Two years on, the people are out in the streets demanding an alternative again, because the austerity and budget cuts have gone nowhere just as the dependence on decisions dictated by Brussels. These people say that they have been fooled and betrayed by the government they once helped into power. People are poorer, people have no future, especially for our youth. This is why we are here. These austerity policies consist in uh, massive um, cuts in the social spending, uh, huge tax breaks for uh, big corporations, and that is precisely um, what um, Hollande promised not to do. With record low approval rates for President Francois Hollande and his former voters turning their back on him, it looks like the French government is in for some very difficult times.